All right, now I'm going to show you the mistake that most everybody makes. Okay, here I have a CMYK document that has the separations. And then I look over here and I don't see any separations. Does you see anything wrong with these documents? I can see it up at the top, but you know, if you're new to printing, you don't see it. This one's a CMYK document and this one's an RGB. Okay? Now, here's the issue. When I opened this up from Photoshop, it made an RGB document and it will always make an RGB document. The only way to counteract this is go to new document and let's choose an artboard that I need, let's say landscape, and let's go back over to Photoshop and this time I'm going to copy the information and then paste the information back into Illustrator. CMYK stays true but no live trace options anywhere to be found. Ooh. Ah, but I have to use the white arrow. So if I click the white arrow, live trace appears. Yay. Okay, so I'm going to just do a simple six color live trace. And show you some of the print woes that you're going to have. I'm going to try to lower this down as best I can, like maybe five color. Maybe I can get away with five color instead. In the print options, now that I traced it out, I can go in here and ignore white. You always want to ignore white. Always. Just about. Okay, so here we go. Now I have this and I can, can expand it out. See how little chunks appear? I'll show you how to counteract that. Control Z. This will undo the trace. And I can show you a thing called minimum area. This is what's making it all chunked up. If I make this like 100 pixels for, for a second, and then do an expand much bigger areas but here's where you're gonna have fun you're gonna have fun going in here and trying to separate these out these are objects that are sitting side by side with each other they are not sitting on top therefore you're going to get huge huge color issues later on on a printing press. If you choose to print it on either a printing press or a t-shirt, you're going to have a huge problem. You're going to get this. I'm going to have, let's say I'm printing on a t-shirt this time. It's screen printing. And I make this one my screen for the light red. And suddenly I put this one on top of it. And it's a little off. So I'm going to get this white border showing t-shirt information here. So what's the advantage of this? I mean really uh, the live trace is, is a very nifty command for creating raster to vector but it's a very dirty process because now I have to kind of go in here and repair a lot of information that I didn't have to do before. Um, you're seeing this disappear because there's a little white box around the outside here. See how if I could fall outside my trace region, it disappears. So don't freak out. It's normal. So I would have to do a lot of repair in this area to get that to work out well. I would have to go in here and probably paint using the blob tool red and then put this on top, which I see no advantage of that whatsoever.
Okay, so in, in the next video, I want to explain a little bit more about this.